What's up everybody, welcome to my channel where every week we check out new gallery openings from established as well as on the rise contemporary artists. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Let's get it. When walking in here, you notice an instant fluorescent color palette. Everything is bright oranges, reds, blues, etc. This use of color is almost reminiscent of a psychedelic trip to another dimension. This is like entering the mind of someone who's on acid or DMT. Well, I would be assuming that since I've never done either drug. You can also notice that Reader is using the representation of the same person in almost all of the works. Although the facial features change from one painting to the next, in some cases this person is fully fleshed out with muscles and skin, while in others he appears as an abstract example of a skeleton. I'm curious as to why this character keeps showing up in the works, and why is it that he appears to die and then come back to life? Could this figure be someone that Michael Reeder has met, or is he a figment of his imagination entirely? The artworks are also in some parts extruded toward the viewer, and from the side of the work, one can see it in multiple planes. Can these works represent planes of the human mind that we can't access through ordinary means? You can see this character showing up again, but this time he's facing himself. It seems as though he's trying to face his reality with death. These pieces here are made out of, I think, concrete, and I instantly think of like tombstones, grave sites, you know, funerals, things like that. And here the character is showing up again, but this time he's in this orange room. Almost represents fire. I don't want to say it represents hell or anything like that, but that's something that I think of walking in here. There's a unique sense of materials used here in this room. Everything from the floor to the ceiling to the walls are all covered in carpet. Look 
looking straightforward at the paintings, one can barely notice the extrusions. However, if you take a look from the side, you can notice that each work is made of multiple pieces of stack cutouts, which creates an illusion. Overall, I think this show could be a symbolism for the death and rebirth of the human mind, as well as the perception of human reality. If I'm correct, and that's the message that Michael Reeder was trying to convey through these works, then I think he was very successful in doing so. Alright, thank you guys for coming with me to the Michael Reader Show. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, as well as hit the notification bell so you'll get updates on when I upnode, uh, upnode, upload new videos. <laughs> Alright man, I'll holler at y'all next week. Peace.